I'm so glad to be with you today. And let me say especially, I'm glad for everybody who's joining in, but especially if you need healing today. Because as we're going through the various names of God, we're coming to a name of God that I pray will be very powerful in your life today. It's Jehovah Jireh, the God who heals. We find this name of God in an Old Testament story in Exodus 15. Israel has been delivered from their Egyptian captivity and slavery. And now, now they're heading out into the wilderness. And Moses led Israel, verse 22 of Exodus 15 says, Moses led Israel from the Red Sea. And they went into the wilderness of Shur. And for three days they traveled in the wilderness, in the desert, without finding water. Now this is a crowd of hundreds of thousands of people. And three days in the wilderness, no water. And when they came to Mara, they could not drink its water because it was bitter. That's why the place is called Mara, which in Hebrew means bitter. So the people grumbled against Moses, right? So let's grumble against our leader when, when we can't find anything to drink. And, and, and they were saying, what are we to drink? And the next verse, Moses cried out to the Lord. And the Lord showed him a piece of wood, interestingly enough, a piece of wood. And he threw it into the water. And the water became fit to drink. That bitter water became wholesome, healthy, sweet water that they could drink without making them sick. In verse 26, then God said, if you'll listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in their eyes, in his eyes, and if you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you, for I am Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who heals you. And it would, of course, be Jesus that would embody this. Peter says in 1 Peter chapter 2, 24, He himself bore our sins on his body on the cross. I mean, of all kinds of sickness, the sickness of our souls and our separation from God is what we need healing for more than anything else. And so he bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. And then he quotes out of Isaiah 53, And by his wounds you have been healed. And this healing is healing for the body, for the soul, and for the mind. Healing at every level in our lives because we serve Jehovah Jireh, the Lord that heals. And just as Moses threw a piece of wood into bitter waters, God planted a wooden cross at the heart of the bitterness and pain of our lives. And he healed those waters. And he declared himself to be Jehovah Jireh when he died on the cross so that by his wounds we might be healed. So Lord, as we are in your presence today, what more is there to say except you are our healer? What more is there to say except you're the Lord, Jehovah Jireh, who makes bitter places sweet, who takes broken places and makes them whole. You are the one who was wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our, our iniquities. You bore our infirmities on yourself at the cross. And we thank you. We thank you as a result. You are our great physician. And for every need for healing today, I pray in Jesus' name, you will be Jehovah Jireh. I pray for physical healing against cancer and, and stroke and heart disease and diabetes and kidney problems. And my God, wherever there may be a need for healing, let your healing come now. I pray you'll heal broken relationships. I pray you'll heal our hearts where they've been broken by other people. I pray, oh God, in the bitter places of difficult things we're walking through, you will come and you will place your cross in the midst of that, those bitter waters and make them sweet, we pray. We thank you for your healing, body, mind, and soul. And we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.